Hi, Nicole Young here with a quick two minute tip on how to use the crop tool. Now, if you know that you want to crop your image to a specific size and resolution, it's really easy to do. So go over to your crop tool, it's just over here in the tools bar. Let's say I want to print this at an eight by 10 at a resolution of 240. All you have to do is just enter it right up here. 10 by eight at 240. Now I just drag my cursor across the image and I'm gonna hold the shift key down and, and just slide it over. It'll keep it uh, nice and leveled. And you can see I have black around the edges where the crop is going to take all that part of the image off. And that's the shield up here. So you can turn that on or off. You can even change the color or you can drop the opacity a little bit. And then to accept that crop, I can either hit my return key or I can click this little checkbox up here. Now, another really kind of neat trick with the crop tool is that if you have an image that's not straight or maybe it's skewed a little bit the way it was photographed, it's really easy to fix just by using the crop tool. These numbers up here, they'll stay from image to image. So you wanna make sure that you clear it out so you're not accidentally cropping something incorrectly. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag the cursor across the image and I'm just gonna kinda of get it close to where I want it to be. And you know, I, I don't wanna cut any of this image off and I actually kinda of wanna bring it bring it back to the proper perspective. So I'm gonna go up here to the top and click on this perspective little checkbox. And then I'm gonna take each of those corners and then just drag them into the corners of the painting. So now it's obviously, let's, let's change this opacity and make it so you can really see what's going on here. And if I click this check mark box up here, it's gonna bring it back to a rectangle shape with a proper perspective.